This is Angie, an adult black rat snake. This is Richie, an adult corn snake. Today, we're going to be showing you the similarities and differences between these two incredible species. Now you might not know it by looking at them, but black rat snakes and corn snakes are a lot more similar than many people think. Actually, both of these are considered rat snakes and they're the, in the exact same genus. So both of these are in the Pantherophis genus, which is just the scientific name for the rat snakes. Um, so obviously black rat snakes are very dark in coloration, especially at adult size, whereas corn snakes are kind of that light orange color. Now Bailey will tell you more about why corn snakes have that coloration later. But another thing you'll notice about black rat snakes is they're significantly larger than corn snakes. Now, while there is lots of size overlap between the species, most people agree that black rat snakes do reach larger adult sizes. So this is a mature black rat snake. It's probably about four feet long, whereas Richard is a mature corn snake, and he's about three feet long. But there's also a pretty big difference in kind of the girth. So you see that the black rat snake is a lot more thick than Richard is, um, which is a, just uh, reflective of their lifestyle. So black rat snakes are non-venomous constrictors. Uh, they mostly prey on rodents, and they can prey on pretty large rodents, so it's not impossible for black rat snakes to eat forest animals like squirrels. Um, and that is why they have this added size, to give them the ability to eat those larger forest-dwelling mammals. But Bailey will tell you about why corn snakes are a little bit smaller and a little bit different looking than black rat snakes. Okay, so corn snakes are actually smaller and um, different color because they live in a different region. They are um, most known for living in coastal regions, so which is why they are kind of this orangey color because it's easier for them to blend in with their habitat there, and they're a little bit smaller because they eat smaller prey. So you can kind of think about black rat snakes and corn snakes like cousins from different parts of our state. Black rat snakes are more common in the Piedmont Mountains, whereas corn snakes are more common in the coastal plain. However, both of these species can actually be found in all parts of North Carolina, which is why it's important that they have slightly different ecological niches. Obviously, both of them will eat rats and lizards and things like that, but the added size and bulk of the black rat snake means they can take larger prey like squirrels, whereas the smaller size of a corn snake enables it to chase and survive off of smaller prey like mice and lizards. Okay, so both these snakes are harmless to humans pretty much. Um, they have very small teeth. They won't harm you if you don't harm them. So if you see them in your backyard, you know, just let them go. Um, they will eat your rats for you. Um, so yeah, just really don't, they're just harmless, peaceful animals, um, as you can see. All right, now just to prove to you how calm, cool, and collected these snakes are, we're gonna let our little siblings come in and have a turn. Now this black rat snake was actually relocated from someone's garage, and this corn snake is my pet ridge. But, as you can see, both species are very calm, even when handled. And I don't recommend handling them if there's not a reason to. So if you do see them in your yard, there's absolutely no reason you need to go after them or harass them. They're very, very calm snakes, um, and they really pose no threat to humans whatsoever. Do you guys want to say anything about them? Um, so this one's actually really pretty and really big. Um, we've definitely found a lot of them before, and they're very like calm. Don't be scared of them at all. Like I'm not, and this. This one's just kind of chilling. Um, yeah. Um, both of these are really good for the ecosystem. They eat mice, rodents, um, and they help keep the ecosystem healthy. So you should definitely not try to hurt them. Well, everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about telling the difference between a black rat snake and corn snake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.